the question that we face is how can we help Egypt now come up with an economic program that would restore confidence, protect poor people and vulnerable households during the transition, and do so in a way that uh, restores confidence during uncertainty, because there is the political uncertainty. And so the big challenge for the Egyptians, the big challenge for the IMF in supporting them, is to try and find a way of working where you can develop some kind of economic strategy that covers the next couple of years that provides markers and a framework, but also an economic strategy that is likely to be implemented after the change in government, which may happen in a few weeks. The Arab Spring in Egypt, uh, the revolution in Egypt, the changes in Tunisia, changes in other countries in the region that are going through this transition have forced the countries to focus on new issues and have brought us, the IMF, to also think about how do you go behind the macroeconomic numbers to look at employment issues, to look at the equality of opportunity. It's a new area in many ways for us too in the IMF to get involved in some of these issues. It stretches our expertise. Sometimes it's easier to reject the past, but then people have different visions of the future. What I did find, though, during this trip is when we talked to people across the political spectrum, uh, uh, from the parties that were sort of religious, faith-based parties, across to liberal parties, they all clearly want to move to a system which represents uh, an Egypt that is going to be growing and prosperous, providing jobs, a society where poor people are better protected, and also an economy in which there is uh, the more open approach to speaking out and, and trying to define your own future and destiny. I think the transition in Egypt is going to be a difficult transition because the economic challenges are important. There's still a need to come together on a project in terms of what kind of society uh, Egypt will be in 10 years. But having said that, I do have faith in the new Egypt because I believe that the Egypt that is being forged with difficulty is an Egypt which is going to be the result of debate and discussion and then consensus within society. Clearly there is an important short-term set of uh, challenges to deal with on the economic front and it's very important that we get those uh, addressed quickly and uh, in a way that is credible and uh, inspires confidence. But the real prize is to look beyond the short term and to address the problems that were at the root of the revolution in Egypt. <laughs>